Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, day 20. Two thirds of the way through. Can you believe it? I need to do my nails. Anyway, um, starting off looking at yesterday, which was our Mombato's hat. Ugh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm happy I picked this. It was a lovely dark purple. Sheen doesn't really show up, which is a bummer because it's beautiful gold. But <clears throat> it's time to go to today. And we're going to do one of my favorite inks. Diamond and Earl Grey. Poorly named, but beautiful. And I'm going to put it in this pen, the Pelican M605 and the black tortoise shell because first off, it's super classy, um, and I think it's a good match. And I would think an Earl would be happy to write with this. And let's get inked, and then we'll go. Um, this is one of two big bottles that I have, though it's getting used because, like, you know... I like to give samples of this to people. Now, I'm not really sure if I got ink in here. Is there an easy way I can tell? Sometimes I think if I put it up to my ear, maybe I can hear if there's ink in it. I don't think I actually got ink in here though. Yeah, good news, I didn't. I mean, by good news, I mean it's good because otherwise I might've just made a mess. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> um, I don't know. Y'all, I'm holding it up to the light. I have no clue. Let's see. Yes, there's ink in here. Because if I spell ink, it, ink comes out. Big brain. Um. Anyway, so I, but I already did Earl Grey as a drink this month, right? So what what drink do you pair with Earl Grey ink if not Earl Grey tea? Well, I thought, can I make a drink that's gray? And then I thought, no. I probably could, but it would involve like charcoal or like black sesame. But instead I thought, let's make a particularly British drink. So I made pink gin. And this is super easy. I'm afraid of it. <laughs> Let's taste it. Oh, it's fine. It's good. Whew. Um, so pink gin is pink because it's got bitters in it. Though I probably had too much bitters in that. I probably needed to spill some out, but it like wasn't coming out anyway. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> also, I used a gin that was pink to start with, and it's a gin that's from the UK. So it's supposed to be made <laughs> with Plymouth gin, which I didn't have, but, you know, that's it. Okay. Um, but I used Edinburgh gin. Uh, what is it called? Rhubarb and ginger? Something like that. Like, brought it back from... Uh, England. I can't remember where I bought it. Might have been in Edinburgh. Otherwise, York? Hmm. Uh, continue writing, Maria. This isn't important. Pelican M605. Black tortoise shell. With a medium nib. Kind of wish I had gotten it in a broad nib. But, I don't know. Medium's nice. I actually think medium's good for this, but I wish I had gotten my 205 in a broad nib. Maybe one day I will get a 205 with a broad nib, you know? Um, so, 
I think most of you who've been here a while will know I bought two bottles of this, two of the big 80 bottles, because that's all that was available in at the time, and I thought it was going to be a limited edition ink, um, and I really liked it. So I bought one bottle, and then I bought the second bottle. If I'm not mistaken, I bought the second bottle when I started my most recent job. In 19, in 19, in 1919, everybody, I look incredibly good for my age. <laughs> it's 2019, obviously. <clears throat> and obviously, equally obviously, I am still not doing well. I woke up, I went to bed last night with a migraine and unfortunately woke up with it again so today could have been better but i did make some cookies so it could also have been worse um this is looking like a very dry experience not very flowing dry and mine Earl Grey. Um, I've been watching documentary today. Documentary, docu series on Henry Lee Lucas. So cheerful. Um, I don't know. We all like, what do you watch when you're just confined to the couch all the time? It's boring and bored. I did play some video games today, which was nice. I had the energy for that. We need more ink here for this victoriousness. I'm worried I don't have enough ink in here. Well, then we'll get more, Maria. There's more ink to be gotten, okay? GG me. I don't know if I'm gonna finish today's drink. It's not always the best idea, but sometimes a drink can help me when I have a migraine, and sometimes it's incredibly ill-advised. <laughs> So we'll see. I went with one. This was a good amount of ink. That was that should be medicinal. Obviously, it has bitters in it and gin, and both of those are like basically medicine, depending on what year you're in. <laughs> Even if we were in 1919, I think they had moved beyond that. I like what I've managed to do here with the like. And like you're already seeing some of the pink colors coming out. Oh, the oven's preheated. It's gonna tell us a few times. I, sorry, I muted. I mean, I paused because the oven, and then I started cleaning. So whatever. Here we are, loving it. Um, and then is this dry enough? We'll let it wait a little bit while we do this one. Day nine, day, we can actually fit day 20 on here. <clears throat> Almost done the week. Um, I wasn't going to do Earl Grey because we know I've featured this ink several times. But, I mean, that's because I like it. Um, so why not? Pink gin. Coat. Chilled. Glass. With Angostura bitters. Add. Plymouth gin. I used 1.5 ounces. 
should garnish with lime, lemon rind, but I didn't have that, so <laughs> I didn't. That's it. Can't get easier. The reason it's pink is because bitters are red. And if you dilute red, you get pink. Welcome to your art lesson for today. <laughs> okay. This month is looking so good, isn't it? I can't wait to see how it ends. I have a question. Do you write gray with an E or an A? I grew up in the States. I've never lived anywhere else. And I learned to write gray with an E. And I hate seeing it with an A. Unless that's your last name and you spell it with an A, in which case I will grudgingly allow it. But I don't know, because apparently with an E is like a British spelling. And I think I told y'all once, like, there was a tea um, brand that, like, wrote Earl Grey with an A. And I'm like, nah, you don't just get to spell it the way you want. That's a, a title. <laughs> That'd be like, you know, but I spell Maria with an E, so I'm just going to call the tea that. Like, no. No, you have to use their name and their spelling. But I'm going to stop ranting for now. <laughs> Because, what? Okay, so here we are with day 20, dye my mineral gray. A, look at the gun. This, I don't think this is my responsibility that this label has like gray all over it. I'm pretty sure it came to me that way. I think the box got like grayed. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.